Self-acceptance is a very crucial thing for you. Not only is it beneficial for you, it's beneficial for everybody else around you. Because once you love yourself enough, you actually give the people the kind of love that they deserve as well, while making yourself a budding flower in people's lives. So hey guys, welcome to another episode of What Would Floramet Do? An insight into how I would do my things. If you are new here, you are super duper duper welcome. I hope you stay long enough to know what we are all about. And if you are my day one subscriber or you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I totally appreciate your presence and I hope I will be seeing more of you, your friends, your family, your circle. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed please do consider subscribing at the end of this video like and do leave me a hi on the comment section down below because i would really love to hi you back so on today's episode we are going to be chilled i know in the last one i was actually bashing people okay i was not bashing i was just trying to make my message come across please all right all right i'm a fairy godmother i am allowed to show love a bit sternly sometimes that's what we do <laughs> anyway we are getting into today's topic and we are going to be talking about self-love and self-acceptance a very familiar topic right <laughs> a little backstory when i was young you see my nose mm. yeah and i don't have much of a booty as well so when i was young I actually told myself that I was not pretty enough because I had this nose that my forefathers have and I had no booty. You can't see it because, well, it's irrelevant at this point. <laughs> so because of that, I just forged my way into trying to rather be perfect indeed or in my doings rather than my physique right i was trying to compensate the fact that uh i don't have a booty so might as well just probably be a good girl don't smoke don't visit boys don't drink <laughs> you know all of those things i know it helped me long run because i'm still all of those things which is very good i like that about me but initially it was a way of getting people to accept me getting people to love me for other things like you can't be not gorgeous and not be smart at the same time it doesn't make sense okay and when 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 yvonne og actually said that i was like you know what you're actually very right you can't not have a booty right and not have a very calm patient spirit and not have like proper ways of walking and and serving in the church and do like that and things like that because otherwise marriage ain't gonna come marriage ain't gonna come so that's my little backstory but i love about it now but then it was a serious thing it was serious because i had a very low self-image of myself i did i liked myself i just didn't love myself right i did not love myself i did not enjoy a lot of things about myself my teeth my nose my eyes they were too bulky for my liking i was a bit different from all of my family members so i liked myself i just did not love myself but now this is where self-acceptance comes in when you accept yourself you realize the fact that there is diversity for a mere reason that the world needs to be colorful be it by talent be it by different looks there's gotta be some sort of variety for the world to bloom with color for the world to be a better place i am not the prettiest girl in the room and there's somebody else who's always gonna be prettier than you there's somebody else who's gonna be more wealthy than you somebody who's gonna have the softest life more than you somebody who's just gonna start this youtube thing and then blow up next morning and then me who continues to do it even when nothing is happening not usually nothing but i mean slow movement is happening so 
what would flora Med do if i find myself in a position that i self-loathe i can't accept myself for who i am i find myself to be very repulsive in my eyes what would flora Med do flora Med would take her power because one thing i did realize is that these images that i was thinking that i am unworthy because i don't have were forged by somebody's imagination towards me it was forged by the media and probably comments many comments many comments around my circle that emphasized where vele vele where i did not have the right looks right according to what the society sees so i needed to take my power i needed to realize that i ain't changing for nobody okay and i'm probably gonna be like this all my life unless if i do plastic surgery but i'm probably gonna be like this all my life so i might as well just get to the habit of loving myself and appreciating myself and then accept the fact that i am a flawless mostly unperfect human being you could ever find but the most gorgeous soul you'll also ever find on this earth it takes a lot of courage to own up to the fact that you are not what you could envision yourself or you envision yourself to be but you are exactly what you are for a reason i am like this because i needed to be like this probably because yeah, it just goes well with my personality probably so i took my power back i implore you to take your power back don't let other people's perceptions of you to actually limit you into believing that you are not good enough you are not worthy enough you need to find it within yourself to actually go fetch your identity and the best place you can find your identity is in the word of god and and communion with the holy spirit because that is a very important step to finding who you are accepting who you are and loving who you are and that is the most freeing thing you could ever give to yourself in this lifetime because when you know your place who you are as a human being all of a sudden you feel like you're on top of the world like nothing is a limitation for you and i wish that for you too because it's a great space to be in i promise you promise 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 all right please do yourself a favor and grab back your power if you watched me to this point Mm. are you not a darling you are a darling and a half <laughs> i would appreciate it also if you consider subscribing on the comment section on the subscribe button down below and also say hi on the comment section down below because i would really love to hi you back i would also love it if you like the video probably share with somebody you think this could help or resonate with thank you so much my lovelies for always joining me on my crazy videos see you again soon ciao